Hello, Bellogan here. Continue our playthrough to level 99. Last video, we did a bunch of missions. We got Poseidon's Trident, a very powerful special weapon, and we farmed up a couple bounties to get some red memories. What we're gonna do now is go through upgrading our gear where we can again, and then we're gonna go check out the Dark Arena and see if, first of all, we're strong enough to battle there, and secondly, if it is worth all the hype. So I'm gonna boost my power as much as I can before we come do any type of, of decoding and uh, dismantling. So the first thing I wanna do is come to the weapon shop. Since we hit level 50, I can now buy the super cell form. And uh, of the level 50 weapons here, you know, 131 versus 140 tech, that's a no brainer, definitely better perks. So we want the super cell form. Sure, go ahead and equip me. Let's see what it did to our power. That bumped us up, you know, another four or 500 power right there. Uh, inventory, we want to use all of our attack and defense cores that could potentially boost our power, even though they're just one. There's still little nudges that help. And then I want to use a defense booster. And I think that's it. I have a balance booster. I'm gonna save that for later because those are, are uh, rare. It would be a big bump in power because it bumps all your stats a little bit, but we're going to forego that. And try to go to my gear here. So Firestream did mention he's doing some updates right now, trying to fix some email things. So, all right, we're back online now. So it looks like uh, that defense booster got cut off whenever Firestorm had to pause, but my attack booster was used. Let's just come uh, do that quick refresh, 2700 power. And okay, again, looking at my gear really quickly, my weapons, I'm not expecting anything better out of there, maybe the heavy for my armor. Um, the helmet is the best piece I have right now. Everything else, and even that, I can probably get some pretty good upgrades with purples. So we're gonna run through our purples first, then we'll do the uh, other colors. But we do want to see if we can bump that decode rank up a little bit just by mass decoding everything else that we have acquired up to this point. And yeah, why not? We'll go ahead and do the blues. Okay, that used up about half my money. I feel broke. That's all right. Uh, let's see, now we're gonna mass dismantle everything. Blue as well. I have a purple pop up here. Let's see what he had for perks. Uh, attack 32, no defense, so that one would not help with my power. And the whites, the green. Blues, we'll just check if any of those happen to upgrade to purple, that would be better. Uh, this has actually more defense and more attack, so that one actually would bump me a little bit. In the same base defense. And we'll just dismantle that guy. He's not anywhere near as good as that red helmet. All right, so that decreased my decode rank a couple points. That helps a little bit. And now we're just gonna come through all of our armor. See what we can get. All right, no defense perk, that will not help. Legs, let's see, plus two higher defense and attack and a lot higher base, so that one will increase our power. Uh, come to chest, try him. He's missing attack and XP. I don't think that's gonna help. Uh, helmets, we're gonna do those last. Should we try heavy? Sure, why not? Uh, more attack, more defense. It's a riot set. The base attack's lower, but that doesn't matter for power, the attack value of the heavy. Oh no, I wanted to equip you, not say okay. Yeah, so up to 87, so that was noticeably different. So we can dismantle you. Back to the code breaker. All right, let's run through these again. Class. This time we got four defense, plus six attack, plus seven. That will definitely increase my power. Legs, no change. More death, but less attack, not helpful. Legs again, there's my home security system beeping. 
Less base defense won't be helpful. Chest. Defense is better. Attack, not helpful. Let's see if we got any chance with these helmets. Uh, no, based off of how much lower that is, I don't think so. We'll try heavy memory really quick. And the perks I'm getting are better, but they didn't have the right perks on it. It needs to be attack and defense. Both of those have it. It's a fighter set instead of a riot, which means it's going to give it a little bit of an attack versus a defense boost. Ended up being lower in power because of that, just because of the set uh, bonus was better for Riot for defense. So Riot uh, boosts your defense a little bit. Fighter uh, boosts your attack. All right, um, let's go ahead and do our reds. We're gonna do this random one here first and see what it comes out as. A primary weapon, not helpful. Special won't be helpful, so I've got a chest and a helmet. Let's try the chest first. So Scholar, 11 base defense, uh, plus eight more to the something perk and it has attack perk that the other one didn't. So that will be a much better chest piece. That bumped me up over 3,000 power. All right, we're gonna track this helmet, see what we get. Very, very nice. Plus eight defense, more, and attack, and defense. We'll go ahead and equip him. And then, just for a good measure, and because I don't want to see them all one at a time, we're gonna go ahead and just decode the rest of my purples. Almost broke, barely had enough money to do that. That's all right, I've got a lot of Drachmaspheres and things saved up that I have not used. Let's see. Let's just take a quick look here. Have I got one with, here's attack and defense. 34, 30, this is 33, 33. That one's probably my best heavy for power. So we'll lock him. We're gonna come back to Worm Slayer for our, our battles. Let's move to all of you guys. The slim chance that purples can turn red. Um, doesn't happen very often, but they potentially can. Uh, these are all significantly worse. None there. All significantly worse. 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 All right, so nothing new special out of the purples. Uh, nevertheless, we've got a pretty good power jump. Pretty happy with that. Let's go see what happens in the dark arena. So to enter the dark arena, you have to have arena tokens, which you get from completing bounties. They'll show up under other here. I've got eight of them. And you use one to get in, and then when you die, uh, if you can respawn there, you're fine, which you have as a bonus um, with subscriber status. Otherwise, you're kind of you're dead. All right, so we're gonna start off with some of these weaker guys. Now these are gonna act like regular mobs. Oh, 4,000 per hit, that's pretty good rather than Titans, so I'm not gonna get different amounts of experience based off of how hard I hit him. Let's see, he had attack of 408. Let's try a tier two, just to see if it's a whole lot tougher. No, not drastically. His crits hurt a little bit. And I don't know that every single one of these guys is the same. Yeah, 525, so some of these heroes are gonna be really tough, some of them are pretty weak, uh, just depending on kind of a randomization. Now the dark, the, the names that show up here are all actually other players in, in the game. So, and the experience is pretty good for hit, getting 4,000 per hit. It's not, I don't know this is better than Titan farming though. Um, you saw if our Titan farms, so this guy's hitting really hard. Hmm, but giving 13k per hit. Okay. I, I guess it's random. Some of these are really good, some are not so great. So you hit him with a, a special and only did a slightly more. So depending on who we're battling, this, um, I think you just have to be really careful. This may or may not be faster than Titan farming, which Titan farming kind of grows exponentially um, because the harder you hit, the more you can, uh, almost died there because I had my overlay. Uh, the more experience you get, so it kind of grows as your as your levels increase. Whereas these are going to be fairly static. The only real increase we're going to see from these is going to be um, from our experience perk increasing with gear, and um, from being able to battle tougher monsters as we get more more defense. But they seem to be fairly static. 10, 11 per hit. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, we may try this out. What I'll probably end up doing is just do some timed runs and see, you know, it, does it look like I'm getting more experience per minute, per two minutes running this way versus not, um, versus what I would do on, on Titan farming. I've run out of special ammo, haven't I? You know, that's not a bad thing. Still getting 7k per hit on these guys is, is pretty decent. Um, you know, we jumped a level here in just a couple minutes. That was pretty fast. So with that, I am dead. <laughs> we died. All right, so now I go back to the dark arena. I think he uses another arena token. Let's just test that out really quick. No, I can't, just go somewhere else. So I would need another token to get back in. So we'll compare that time uh, to what we're getting with Titan farming, and then we will work on farming our way up to level 60. Um, 60, there's a few things we can do. Uh, let's see here really quick. I can go ahead and get to the consume. I can also get to Saturn. The, uh, there's a trapper gun on Saturn that you can uh, use to capture um, the sacred pets if you're on test. So it's a story that you have to do for now, or it'll show up in the Vanguard Quartermaster later. And level 60, we get to Phobos. And uh, experience on Phobos can be pretty decent as well, depending on how you, how you do it. Um, really, Mercury is where it kind of takes off, then you got a bit of a grind. So with that, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up with having upgraded our gear again and checking out the Dark Arena. Uh, when we come back next, we're gonna be grinding machines, just grinding away.